Greetings. We are here with One Piece Chapter 1124, Close Friend. Today's cover page of the chapter is Ogre Child Yamato's Golden Harvest Surrogate Pilgrimage Volume 12, preventing an abduction on the road to Curry as we see a silhouette figure running at high speeds off into the distance as Yamato has brandished her club. To protect a young lady from an abduction, it seems. Strange. Hopefully that guy gets what he deserves. Because, uh, how dare he have tried to abduct a woman. <laughs> Alright. So I'm going to speed run through this. As we see in the first bit of the chapter, we have Big News Morgans as well as Vivi contemplating the events that happened at Egghead. Vivi is not very happy with how he runs his things as uh, he retorts, Don't tell me how to run my stage, little girl, or I'll tell them where you're hiding. And Vivi retorts with, Oh, did I say something to offend you, you falsehood amplifying albatross? The intelligent people of the world won't be manipulated by your lies. And Wapples just here in the back room is like, Now, now, Vivi, my dear sweet girl, let's not forget we have nowhere to go if we make him angry. <laughs> he's, he's upset. No, he's more scared than upset. But uh, obviously, Morgans wants to tell the news in his own way. Look, this whole pile of juicy stories to gawk at. Emperor Blackbeard versus Trafalgar Law. Emperor Red-Haired versus Eustace Captain Kig. Kig. Kid. Emperor Straw Hat Luffy murders Vegapunk. Obviously, that is a lie, as Vivi is caught on to this yelling out, Liar! And the chapter continues after the effects of the hockey rope that the robot Elmet, Emmet let out. As we see Sentu Maru rowing in a rowboat with a tear down his eye down his face. We see the lone Borsalino finding a Denden Mushi that Akainu was contacting someone on the marine vessel. Come in, egghead. What happened? And Borsalino just tells him to shut up. Why are you picking up the call, Borsalino? What happened to the others? Every last one of them was knocked out and are foaming at the mouth. What's that supposed to mean? Is St. Saturn unharmed? What about the power plant? Any escapees? It seems Borsalino is in a su sunken state. In this chapter, I'll have a report sent in once the young'uns wake up. You'd better have not done a sloppy job on this one, Borsalino. All right, Sasaki, tell me something. Have you ever killed a close friend? And he's not talking none other than about Vegapunk as we see his memories. Man, you got a big head. I'm Borsalino, a Navy sailor. How m much can I pay you? Huh? <laughs> Vegapunk's just like, huh? <laughs> this arrest is just an excuse. What do you really want is my brain. How much can you pay in research funds? And obviously, they get together pretty well. <laughs> oh, you're funny. And, and then obviously, as we see the egghead being developed, we see that Borsalino is helping them. As well as Kuma, Sentumaro, and Bonnie. And this is what it'll look like. And I'm going to call it Egghead. We're building the future of 500 years ahead. I could use a hand, Borsalino. You know I'm an admiral now, right? <laughs> He's just sweating. And then we see the panel where Borsalino stabs Vegapunk with the laser sword from his devil fruit power. And what's really cool about this panel, though, as we see the reflection of Vegapunk's fall body falling to the ground and the reflection of Borsalino's sunglasses. It's truly an emotional state. And then this panel over here 
we see the flames of Egghead and the silhouette of Borsalino on a lone marine ship drifting out. I want to, you want to know if I did a sloppy job, Sasaki? If you had time to sit there and doubt me, then come over here and see my work, you selfish, ungrateful brat. <laughs> Dude is upset. Can't blame him. As you see, he has tears coming down his face. Alkainu is silent. But he replies, I'm sorry, brother. And, uh, Borsalino replies with, don't even start. So I wonder what their relationship is. Like, we don't know much about Akainu and Borsalino other than what there is in the One Piece chapters. But there must be some history between these two. And I'm curious. And I'm just curious. <laughs> so... The chapter continues as we see the Sunny being pulled by the Viking ship pirates. You know, the the giants from Elbaf. The giant Viking ship boat. It's so quiet. Are they done partying? We see Frankie, Jimbe, and Zoro on the Sunny. Sounds like they only had one mug each. I didn't think Luffy would feel so down. I mean, I know... We didn't fulfill our goal, but their goal, none other than, was to bring Vegapunk off the island safely. <laughs> I require her a ride off of Egghead. It was the five elders. And <laughs> Frankie just starts counting on his fingers. It was the five elders, a Navy Admiral, CP0, the Seraphin, and the blockade of battleships. It's such a miracle that we escaped the ha that hell. I still entirely can't wrap my head around it. And I, I totally agree. Still, Jumbei is on, on the fence. As we see uh, Zoro being on the other side of the fence here. It's pathetic. He's one of the four emperors now. And he's moping over a dying geezer. Oh, come on, Zoro. Don't be such a hard ass. Lilith finally wakes up. She's awake. Whew. Huh. I'm so glad. Are you okay, Lilith? And Sanji's just like, Lilith, heart eye, hearts. But uh, Usopp, Chopper, and Nami are there to witness Lilith waking up. As she taps her antenna. Where she, it's like where her ear should be. But it's like an uh, antenna. Hmm? Beep, 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 beep. Oh, yeah. We're in a cabin of giants on the giant ship. Everything... Everything is huge here as <laughs> they're just laying on a couch. As you can see, a ladder they had to use to get up up onto the couch. This is tough to admit, but out of all the Vegapunks, we failed to bring anyone else but you. We're so sorry. Atlas knocked you out. I think that's why. And it seems that she's getting a message from the antenna. Don't worry. I just heard the whole story. You heard it from whom? Now, just give me a minute to cry. <laughs> she starts bawling her eyes out. And Usopp's just like, what part of you is evil again? <laughs> and then immediately the next panel is like, okay, I'm hungry. <laughs> and because, because York isn't a part of the network that she's a part of, I guess it's because of because Vegapunk cut greed out of the his brain that she's now hungry and everyone's just shocked your recovery quick oh you want food the giants put out some fruit on the table and it was they they walk to a table <laughs> it's probably a good walk as we see a gloomy area atmosphere where Luffy is oh watch out it's gloomy up there damn it he gave me, he, damn it, I gave him my word. <laughs> Luffy's just weeping in the corner. I said I'd save old Apple Man. <laughs> He's just stuffing himself full of grapes. Luffy is really in bad shape. He's so depressed. He's only eaten five bunches of grapes. That seems like plenty. <laughs> 
<laughs> Lilith is just like, what? How can you eat that many grapes? The uh, the rest of the straw hats, uh, Brooke, Usopp, and Sanji are below the table. Ah, I see you were feeling sad about me, Luffy. Well, don't worry. I've just heard it all. Heard what all? Sanji is just like confused. What do you mean? Why do you keep saying you heard it? I was crying earlier because I was sad about everyone's death. But it is only death by your concept of it. You see, the truth is, <laughs> she's about to blow their minds. In short, they're all alive. And I think that has to do with the fact that back in Egghead, there was Vegapunk's giant head that he obviously, like, cut off of his head. I don't know how he surgically removed his brain from that, but it feels like they're all satellites because they're they're the Vegapunk satellites, literally in the title of their character. So obviously they connect to the brain, and I bet you all of their messages are back and forth through the brain. If that makes any sense, it's basically like a... I don't know how to explain it, but it makes sense to me. That means all of them are still alive, technically, but their bodies are gone. That's probably what she means. But to you, they're dead. What? <laughs> Everyone's just shocked. I don't get it. Are they ghosts? <laughs> My point is, you did keep your promise to me, so don't feel sad, Luffy. Aw. Because <laughs> she is a Vegapunk, technically. Yo! <laughs> Luffy just jumps in on the table near the giants. Yo! Yeah, yo! Yeah, yo! Yo! Straw Hat! Feeling better now? Hey, giant guys! Thanks for coming to save us! Yeah! Are you ready now? Bring out the food! Shall we feast and drink? Zoro! Luffy's feeling better! I've been waiting for this! Eat all you want. <laughs> all the giants are just laughing merrily. Ga ba ba ba. And one of my favorite panels of this chapter is right here with Robin holding Chopper. I can see Saul when we get to Elbaf. And Chopper's just like, I'm so happy for you, Robin. <laughs> As Luffy's chowing down. I like the toast you gave earlier, Straw Hat. Vegapunk said the ho whoever finds the One Piece will ru run the whole world. Who do you think's going to be the king of pirates? That's the whole reason I said went. Or the whole reason I want to sail to sea. The whole reason I went to sea, yeah, to become pirate king. If I don't, if I don't, oh no, wait. Have we see a nice. Cheering merrily panel here. Remembering me of dr the end of Dress Rosa where everyone was partying with mugs and beer. I don't care if you guys end up as my enemies. You know, it's going to be me in the end. Woo! Cheers for Straw Hat Luffy. <laughs> the ship charts a course northeast of Elbaf, home of the giants. And wrote... To the storied land. Gah ha ha ha. War. And then we see. We cut to. The war. New. The war land. New world. Elbaf. And we just see. One of Oda's famous silhouettes. Come on. They say. As this silhouette is chugging. A beverage. <laughs> we don't know what the beverage is. Because it's in a silhouette. But there is a doom. Sound effect. Da -dum. Glug glug. And we don't know who this is, but I assume people are going to theorize that this might be Loki because it's Elbaf, and Elbaf is based off of like the North mythology and stuff like that. Or it could be just Saul. Who knows? And that's the end of chapter 1124. And there is no chapter next week. There's a break. And I won't see you until the next week for this. Not next week, uh, the week after is what I mean. And uh, sorry about that, but uh, I did a recording before and my audio was not on. 
So I had to re-record this. That's why it's been a little more like of a speed run for this chapter. Because I already read it and was reacting to it. But anyways, I also plan to uh, remove Jesus from the title. It seems it's not doing me any favors in my reach out. And that's okay. I still will record this way. I just will title everything differently. And uh, stay tuned for the uh, next episode of One Piece chapter review on my YouTube channel. Not next week, but the week after. And this is, uh, yeah, just me signing out. I'm looking forward to this. Goodbye. Sweet dreams. Sweet dreams. <laughs> All right. Goodbye. <laughs>